All right, welcome back. It's time for News Talk. We're joined by Courtney Price Dukes from CASA. We have a big event coming up here in yes. a couple of weeks, but first, kind of just tell us about what CASA is for people who are not familiar. Yes, yeah, so CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate, and what we do is we recruit and train volunteers to advocate in the best interest of those in the foster care system. So they really get appointed by a judge, and then they get to work with an individual in the foster care system or a sibling set, and really just walk alongside them and report about their physical needs, mental needs, and really anything they need to be the best version of themselves. That's awesome. Tell us about your experience with CASA as well. It sounds like you've been there for a little bit here. Yeah, so I actually recently just started with oh, CASA, nice. but my work with the foster care system is nothing new. I myself was in the foster care system and have been advocating for years upon like the Miss Kansas stage and really just out in the yeah. Wichita community. That's awesome. And yeah. you got an event coming up here where I heard Medis will be Come served. On. You've got my attention right <laughs> yes. off the bat there. Tell us about that event. Yeah, so we are having our CASA Lunch and Learn on Thursday, October 10th from 12 to 1. And basically what it is, is for you to just come and learn about what it means to be a CASA. Learn about our mission, our heart, and just see if it's something you'd be interested in. And if not, see other ways that you can help out for CASA. And tell us as well, people, uh, certain families, what is this geared towards? Can anyone come and do this? Or is this good for people that are retired? What's maybe a good person oh, to join CASA? Oh, we say CASA? anyone can come. So we yeah. ask that you can just edit it dedicate, excuse me, at least five to 10 hours a month. Um, so it's really not a huge commitment. We just want someone with the heart to really help these children out. That's great. And what's, uh, tell us, so you haven't been there too long, you said, but <laughs> once you are interacting with these kids, mm -hmm. what's it look like? Do you get to take them out to, to a park? Do you get to hang out with them? go to certain events, what's that look like? There for sure is that mentorship aspect. So you can take them out into the community, you can go visit them at their placement home, but you're really trying to make sure that you are advocating as well. So talking with all the associated parties, the biological families, foster families, and those court parties as well. I love that. And it sounds like October also, Foster Youth Voice Month. Yes. So this comes at a good time. Tell us about that. that Absolutely. That whole entire month you guys are celebrating here. Yes, so October is Foster Youth Voice Month, and it's just a time to amplify the voice of foster youth because Unfortunately, a lot of foster youth have their stories told by other people and they get misconstrued a little bit. So what better way to make sure that you are amplifying the voice of foster youth than working right alongside one? I love that. You're doing a great job doing Thank it for you. them as well. Take us through uh, last question before we wrap up. How do people show up to this event coming up on the 10th? What do they need to know? Yeah, so you just go to CASA, CedricCounty.org, and there's a virtual option in case you can't make it in person, but it will be at the CASA of Cedric County office. Um, so we hope to see you there and come out and learn about what we do. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes. We appreciate it. All right. More